hello guys here you are with mr virendra singh and now we are come on the next chapter of the master cam master cam rotary or we can also call master cam four axis tool paths so now from the today we will discuss about all about the master cam four axis and now after that we will move on the master cam multi axis tool paths so from today we will start our new chapter of master cam four axis till now we are cover all about the master cam like as master cam lathe module master cam milling module master cam mill 3d module and we are also covering about lot of tips and tricks and we also cover from the basic bilkul starting basic modules the what the all these commands and how it's work so now from the today we start about the master cam four axis tool path so we will discuss why the four axis is required what is the concept of four axis and how we can machining must four axes by the help of master cam four axes is a very easy and simple concept before you are learning four axes so you have required you have it is required that you have to know about all these master cam milling tool paths always as master cam mill 3d tool path so that time you can easily create master cam four axes machining master cam four axes machining is all about the positional machining that how you have to set over play work piece on a specific plane and that after that you have to machining and after completing of over four axis tool path or over four axis series we will move into over master cam multi axis tool paths so let we start and let we discuss about what the four axis and what we have to require for example that one component we can also create that one component on master cam or a lathe machine but we sometime the situation is like that we have a large size component or we don't have machine that case you can also create that kind of part on a master cam or we can say that on a vmc with the help of rotary table so if you want to machining that kind of part with the rotary table on a vmc machine so that time the four axis is add on like that is called a axis so that time how we can machining that kind of part in a master cam and how we can programming that kind of part in a master cam so you can now machine that same part on a machine so this is our first part that we are starting for the four axis so now we have to understand in which plane we can machining any kind of master cam four axis tool path the tool can be entered from the top side from the front side from the bottom side and from the back side so that can for that that one part you can machining from the top side of the part from the bottom side of the part from the bottom side on the part and from the back side of part the tool cannot be entered from the that one right side plane or from a left side plane because rotary can be indexed or rotary can be rotated in like that kind if you have a rotary in like that type type of condition so that time rotary one axis added that is known as b axis so now let we start that how you can create that one part so i already create that part on a mas in a master cam so let me first show you the simulation for that one part so at here in the simulation for that one part the mas when you want to create that kind of part so you have a rotary table that can be possible that can be located on the left side of the machine or can be possible on the right side of the machine it is generally depending upon the what kind of machine you have so if you have a right or left kind of machine so that net nothing will be different on both side of the machine so let me start now that how our part is going to be cutting on a rotary table so this is one first part that from the top side it is going to starting to cut now then rotary is automatically indexing my tool going up and then it's come on the second point now it's come to the next point and after completing of the milling process it's starting to be drilling so as you can see here my complete part is created from the four different side top front back and bottom as well as on a specific angle i also drill that one hole so now in this video you will learn all about these things that how you can machining that one area as well as you you will also learn about that how you can machining for that one portion so i just delete all these tool paths so i just click on it, delete all operation yes and i also delete that one that one as well as that one so now we are starting to create that one part so for creating that one part i have to go in a tool paths 
one important point that I want to add it at here that if you want to create machining on a rotary or a four axis machine so that case you require a specific four axis post processor if you then don't have post processor file so that case you have to request to your master cam reseller that they have to arrange a post processor file so after that you can machining any kind of part on four axis so first i have to go on the creating that one slot area for the so for creating that one slot area i have to go and choose pocketing toolpath so for creating choose pocketing toolpath i have two method to selection i can choose through the A's and i can choose outer shared edge so i just click on outer shared edge and i just click here so that time over master cam automatically selecting inner edge for that one part after that i have to go in a tool for that one part i have to choose 6 mm end mill and now i have to come on the next stop to leave on floor and wall at the here pocket type i have to choose open pocketing method and i have to mark on use open pocket cutting method and now i have to come on roughing entry after the entry i have to say off now i have to come on a lead in lead out at the lead in lead out i have to choose that how the tool will be entered in a finishing tool path i have to say 30 and at here radius 0 and same lead out at here depth of cut i have to input what the depth of cut i have to require if I want to give any finishing depth of specific finishing depth of cut, so I have can input the how many what number of depth and what will be depth of cut value. Now I have to come on a linking parameter. I have to just say okay. So as you can see here, my first toolpath is created as per my requirement. If I want to show here you that one toolpath. So as you can see here, my toolpath is going to be cut start to cut from start to the end and it's run properly. But at here I want to add a depth of cut. So in that case I have to go in a parameter. And at here I have to say all the parameters should be in incremental. Depth of cut incremental, top of the stroke should be in incremental, feed plane should be incremental, retract should be incremental as well as clearance should be in incremental. I want to say what how what, what amount on the top of the stroke. I just say 2 mm. What the feed plane I say 1 mm. What is the retract? I say 2 mm and how much the clearance? I say 20 mm. So that is the one important point at here top of the stock how much material we have from the selection line. So I just input the 2 mm so that case master cam automatically created tool path as per depth of cut value we are input. So at here the master cam create the tool path for the one area or a one side. So as we are creating tool path at one side we can also translate or transform toolpath on other three portions. So for that I have to go in a toolpath transform. I have to select what I was action I have to require that I have to select to ro rotate. And we are when we are rotating toolpath so that time you have to choose tool play including origin including WCS and you have to select the toolpath which you have to rotate. At here I have to make the number of rotation is 3 and the angle I have to input and now I have to say that what the rotational plane. At here in the rotary portion when you want to rotate any kind of plane so that time you have to choose right side plane so that case it can be easily rotate from the other side. So at here as you can see here I have my first toolpath and that's what this, that one is my remaining three toolpaths. So now I want to drill at here that one portion. So for creating the drill at here, if you have that any kind of that kind of component and you want to drill at here, so that time you have to choose something that you have to go at model preparation and you have to select whole axis. When you are selecting whole axis and you have to select at here and you have to say OK. So that case that at here I just get one line as well as one circle. Now I have to create the drilling for that one portion so I just say drill click the center of that one portion that arc size is 4.7 so I have required drill the diameter is 4.7 so I just go in a drill and diameter 4.6 or 4.7 now I have to come in a cutting parameter and just I say ok now as you can see here my tool is coming from the top one side if as you can I want to simulate here so as you can see at my tool is coming from this one way 
but the requirement is like that the tool have to come as per this line so at here I have to go in the parameters and I have to choose the tool axis control at here I have to say 4 axis and the tool axis control as per tool axis control I have to say parallel to the line and I have to choose that one line make sure that when you are selecting that one line so that time the arrows direction should be from the that one direction from where tool have to come so I say ok and just ok so as you can see here my tool path is created now as a parameter I have to come in a linking parameter and I can select and input all the parameters as required 10 detract value should be 1 top of this top I have to say this and now def all the parameters should be master cam calculated automatically now as you can see here my tool is come on, coming from this one way and it's automatically going back so I hope you understand about all about that how we can create that kind of tool path when we have required so now we have to come on the simulation page so now we are creating these kind of all these three tool paths at the for the top one area for the, I translate this tool path from for the front bottom as well as back and now I create the drilling tool path so now I have to come on the simulation page I select all the operations and I have, I have to simulate so when I want to simulate at here I have to choose what the raw material size so for the raw material size at here I come to level and on stop model and off these three and now I have to choose stop model file and say yes so now as you can see that is my raw material and I just again off this raw material now I have to watch at the my simulation so that time I have to go in a simulator setting I have to choose the machine which I required and I just say to simulate so as you can see here my tool path is come at simulation if I want to edit the machine so I just have to click on a simulation and now let we have to start so as you can see here my first from the top one side and when the top one side is completed it automatically rotate and it's now front side is coming on the top now it's the bottom side is coming on the top and now at the here then back side is coming on the top now if when all the end mill work is completed after that now the drilling comes on the top and now my drill is also completed so I hope you understand all about that how we can create tool path for four axis and how what about the rotary table or indexing machining so guys this is also known as a positional machining so in the, our next exercise we will discuss about some deep points or we will discuss on some other components so goodbye keep learning keep growing